Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and today I have come with a very amazing video. It is Ampere's law versus divergence. And guys, uh, thanks again. You have been uh, showing a lot of love, and uh, you know uh, the and it is reflecting directly on the channel's growth. So thank you again, and uh, uh, you can unlock one more uh, problem with the 700 likes. Uh, even though we don't reach, I'm still uploading. But still, it's a request. Keep liking the video if you like the content and you are learning something out of it. Then please uh, make sure that uh, you are liking the video. It it will help me in growing the channel. And guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is love, which you are already doing. So thanks again. So guys, few days back, I posted a video regarding uh, magnetic field of uh, uh, magic of field lines. It is the extension of the same video. And uh, in that video, I have taken a magnetic field randomly. I chose a function, uh, did not pay attention to some more uh, 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 elements which were required in that. So just let's uh, read this uh, problem again. I have uh, reframed this problem and with uh, some more insight about uh, Ampere's law and divergence concepts. So magnetic field created by a system of magnet of unknown orientation in space is given by the expression vector B is equal to K1 cos square theta by R to the power 5 R cap plus K2 sin 2 theta by R to the power 5 theta cap and an unknown Z component in polar coordinate system. K1 and K2 are positive constants. Then the possible value of K1 by K2 will be. This was the old uh, problem uh, with the different B. Right. I have added one line of unknown Z component. I'll explain why this was required and why uh, now this type of problem can only be solved by using Ampere's law and we cannot apply divergence logic here, which was uh, creating some kind of confusion in uh, that. Also find the unknown Z component of the magnetic field. All right. So let's uh, discuss here. Uh, Concept wise in the previous video I have derived by using Ampere's law by taking a loop and uh, since uh, the magnetic field is created by magnets and there is no current so B dot DL was zero in the differential loop and from there we derived this result D by DR of BR theta and that was equal to D by D theta of BR. So guys you can uh, check the link of magic of field lines in description and in comments for the proof of this relation using Ampere's law. So those who are new to this channel they can uh, see and uh, the, the old ones also can look for this video for the proof of it. It's a very superior method and note here uh, this problem can only be solved using Ampere's law for the ratio of k1 by k2 and it's a z component can be calculated using divergence of magnetic field. So as long as k1 by k2 ratio is uh, concerned here, it will be only solved by Ampere's law and we cannot apply uh, divergence logic because we don't know the z component here. All right. Now, uh, BR is given to us as k1 cos square theta by r to the power 5 <coughs> and B theta is given as k2 sin 2 theta by r to the power 5. So let's calculate this d by dr of b theta r because uh, d by dr of b theta r was equal to d by d theta of br. That was that's what we have got from Ampere's law. So let's calculate uh, b theta r here. B theta value when I substitute k2 sin 2 theta by r uh, r and r to the power 5, it will become r to the power 4. Uh, and uh, since we are differentiating with respect to r this theta i am taking as constant so k2 sin 2 theta d by dr of r to the power minus 4 which is going to give me minus 4 k2 sin 2 theta by r to the power 5 similarly d by d theta of br when i try to calculate br value when i'm going to substitute here k1 cos square theta by r to the power 5 this becomes k1 by r to the power 5 2 cos theta times minus of sin theta all right, so this will give us minus k1 sine to theta by r to the power 5. When I equate these two values, I am getting k1 by k2 ratio as 4. This is going to be the final answer for this question. And guys, still here, it is very important for uh, J advanced type of exam. However, uh, the discussion of uh, uh, divergence, that is... Uh, 
it's not important for uh, je advance but in general you must know so here idea is <clears throat> since magnetic field lines uh, form closed loops therefore uh, monopoles which are the source of field and uh, field lines cannot exist so that's the reason for divergence to be zero and if divergence is non zero then monopoles can exist like in case of electric field plus charge and minus uh, charge they can exist separately but not in case of magnetic field so that's the reason this uh, del dot b is going to be zero in cylindrical coordinate uh, this is the expression of uh, divergence when i substitute the values i am going to get this z coordinate as i'm not explaining the calculation here bz is 4k1 cos square theta minus 2k2 cos 2 theta by r to the power 6 times z now such type of uh, z component must exist otherwise uh, divergence will not be zero so overall magnetic field we can write this is going to be brr cap b theta theta cap plus bz k cap that will be the complete uh, uh, logic of this uh, concept here and uh, <clears throat> this k1 by k2 ratio uh, this method is quite superior in order to find this k1 by k2 ratio and uh, here now we cannot apply uh, the divergence logic so uh, randomly i chose that function uh, in the previous video which was creating trouble divergence logic was giving one answer and uh, uh, the ampere's law was giving one answer and the reason for uh, this was because such type of random function was not possible uh, uh, to become a magnetic field because mathematically i just wrote something to prove this uh, point but it appeared that that function cannot represent a magnetic field and that's why that uh, problem was occurring here so that is not the case now so i hope you have understood understood this concept and you will remember this uh, proof as well as uh, the logic and uh, it may be helpful if you ever come across uh, in such type of problems so guys if you have understood and, uh, and and enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing uh, video from the next video you'll be getting some practice problems as well thank you thanks for watching it